Okay guys, you're back with Miss Suhaila's video lesson. Today you'll be learning about area of sector. Okay, are we ready to start? Yesterday we learned about the arc length, right? Which is the circumference of a circle or the outline of a circle. Okay, today we're going to talk about the area, the inside of it. Okay, so suppose I give you a circle here. Let's remember the formula for area of circle. Also using the radius, don't forget. Okay, what would it be? Ah, pi r squared. Okay, what is pi r squared? Means pi, which is we know the value is the 3.14 or 22 over 7. Okay, I just repeat that because many of us are like grandmother, grandfather, we forget, no? Okay, so pi r squared is pi times r times r. So, R squared means R times R. Okay, not R times 2. R times R. Okay, so, pi times R times R. So, if I want to give you here the radius, okay, as 7 cm. Okay, so let's think about it. How do we find the area? Pi, instead of using 3.14, I would rather use 22 over 7. You know why? You know why? You know why? Okay, 22 over 7. If I times 7, times 7, I can cancel the 7. So I get a whole number. Voila! So, 22 over 7. And the radius is what? The 7. And the other radius? Well, there's only one radius in a circle. Huh? 7 again. Repeat. So now, 22 over 7 times 7. You can cancel the 7. <laughs> So, 22 times 7 only. 154. Thank you. I know you got the answer earlier than me. And because this is area, the unit would be cm squared. Let me check. So, 154 cm squared. Very easy to find area of a circle, right? Just using pi r squared. Circumference is different. Circumference is 2 pi r. Very different from this. Okay, this is pi times r times r. This one is pi times r and then times 2. Here got no 2, ah. only square. Different, okay? Here at the top, higher, so square. Here 2 is in front. 2 times pi times r. This one is pi times r times r. Very different. Ah. Pring, gone. Very fast. Okay, so now let's talk about area of sector. What is sector? What sector? Okay, now in a circle, in a full circle here, I can have a sector. For example, if this is a pizza and I cut the pizza into a few sizes, ah, give it be a bigger pizza ah, because Manua is a hungry child. Okay, so suppose I cut this piece for Manua. Okay, ah, so this nice big piece is for Manua. Okay, so now. What is the area of this piece of pizza that I'm giving to my wife? Okay, now, let me tell you that the angle here, okay, I measure is 120 degrees. Okay, and the radius is 7 cm. Now, what would be the area of this slice of pizza? Or also known as a sector. We call this sector, everybody. Okay, say after me. Sector. One more time. Sector. Okay, so this is a sector of a circle. Okay, and I call this uh, A, B, and this is the center O. So usually when we talk about area of sector, we call, we must say what is the area. So O, A, B. Okay, so area of sector, or I can say A, O, B also can. Uh, o, A, B also can. So usually I put A, O, B. A, O, B. So, is this entire area here. How do I find? 
because the angle here is 120 degrees okay so i put 120 degrees divided by the total area of the circle which is 360 just like this the the arc length just now right angle divided by total 360 but this time instead of multiplying by 2 pi r i must multiply by the area which is pi r squared so in this case i will get times pi i will use 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 okay 120 divided by 360 is you use your calculator don't believe me use your calculator it is 1 over 3 okay pi is 22 over 7 r squared means r times r so r is 7 cm here 7 times 7 so using your calculator you will get 51.3 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So, because this is an area, not angle, so again, 3 significant figures. 51.3 cm squared. So, what is the general formula to find area of a sector, everybody? What is the general formula? If you look at this, study this. Okay, general formula would be what? The angle divided by 360. Multiply by pi r squared. So meaning that if I were to change this angle, it can be any value. Let's say it's x degrees. Okay? And if the radius, it also doesn't matter. Any value. Let's just call it r. So the general formula for area of a sector will be x degrees. Please take note. This x degrees must be the angle that is inside the area. Okay? Inside the area that I want. Not here, huh? Okay, the area that I want, it must be this angle inside here. So, this x is the angle that makes the area. Okay, x divided by 360 total and times pi r squared, which is area of a circle. Okay, so that is the area of sector formula.